Hi everyone, it's Emily and today is day 89 of the Odin Project. This morning I put the finishing touches on my Binary Search Trees project and I started the Knight's Travails project. The goal of this project is to write a function which returns the shortest path between two spots on a chessboard if you are moving a knight piece. So the return value is actually an array containing the coordinates of all of the spots that you would visit on your way from point A to point B if you were traversing the shortest possible path. So I did dive first into this project and my code very quickly became very complicated and very long and I realized that I was starting to reinvent the wheel. And so I took a step back and I revisited the instructions and I realized that the most important part of this project is to first decide the best search pattern to use. So you have to decide between doing a depth first search pattern or a breadth first search pattern. For the depth first search pattern, you would need to calculate all of the full paths between point A to point B to determine which one is the shortest. But with breadth first search pattern, you can essentially go level by level or move by move, analyzing all of the spots where the night piece could end up and just do that until you reach the first level where the night piece ends up on the end point. And at that point, you know that that is the shortest path. So I decided I needed to do breadth first search pattern for this project. And I revisited an article that was linked in the project instructions, which is on Khan Academy. And the article is about graphs. And I did read through this lesson but the next lesson is actually on breadth first search and applying that search pattern to graphs. And so I read through those articles and those were very helpful. And I'm currently completing the activity that's at the end of this lesson. The activity involves writing a function which performs a breadth first search on a graph and it returns an array of objects describing each vertex in the graph. Now this activity is actually pretty similar to what I think I need to do for the Knight's Travails project. So I'm going to solve this first and then basically apply what I did with this activity to my Knight's Travails project. I have it almost all the way complete. I still have two lines that I need to fix to get to my solution, but I'm very close, so I'm, I'm confident I can get there tomorrow. That is all that I have for today. Pretty short update because I haven't gotten super far with this project, but thank you for checking in. If you have any video requests, be sure to pop those in the comments below. If you enjoy these updates, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe if you'd like to continue following along on our web dev journey. I hope you have a great day and I will see you next time.